Hi, Indiana 4-H family. I'm Rebecca Wilkins, and I'm the 4-H Youth Development Educator in Harrison County. Today, we are going to be making a cell pizza. Really, it's just a regular pizza, but we're going to practice a little STEM science today by letting our ingredients represent different parts of a plant cell. The ingredients that you can use for your cell pizza, feel free to exchange these ingredients for different things that better suit your taste. First, spray your baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray, or feel free to use parchment paper. Pinch the edges in to make a little crust to represent the cell wall. Next, add your pizza sauce to taste. Rinse any vegetables that you may be using for your pizza. If you like a lot of cheese, enjoy it. If you like a little cheese, you can just add a little. Your pepperoni will represent your nucleus. Plant cells are called eukaryotic because they have a nucleus, which contains the genetic material of that plant. While plant cells have only one nucleus, it's okay to go ahead and add a few extra pepperonis to your cell pizza. Sausages can represent your mitochondria. This organelle is called the powerhouse or power generator of the cell because it's where the energy in the form of ATP is released from glucose when it enters the cells. Represent your endoplasmic reticulum, also referred to as the ER. Rough ER serves as a place that produces proteins and smooth ER serves as a place where lipids, otherwise known as fats, are synthesized. Small, sweet red peppers can serve as your Golgi bodies. This is where the final processing of proteins takes place. Small Roma tomatoes can represent your vacuoles. Vacuoles are the organelles which store different types of substances that help the cells grow. They can contain sugars, ions, or water. Olives can represent your chloroplasts. These are the organelles that contain chlorophyll and are responsible for the ability of plants to use sunlight to generate energy. Use any type of Italian herbs to season your pizza. We're gonna use basil leaves and they're going to represent the ribosomes of the cell. The ribosomes are responsible for the production of polypeptides, which eventually become proteins. Thank you to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis for the plant cell pizza activity. It's just another fun way to add a few veggies to your favorite meals and practice a little science during our break.